Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our 12 p.m. prayer session. Um, it's midweek, and it's just so good to know that we have a time that we can stop from our busyness and just take time to be holy, to be in the presence of the Most High God. We want to thank our speaker, Sister Rumbi, who is now stepping in the gap. Um, and we have been so blessed by her ministry. And I, I pray that God will just continue to give her this um, spiritual exposure on the different Zoom platforms that we have across the world to share the ministry of God and to encourage the saints of God in their spiritual walk. At this time, I'm going to pray. And then the next voice you will hear after my voice is Sister Rumbi. Let us pray. Most gracious Father in heaven, joy unspeakable is ours when we come into your holy presence. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercies. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, to us. We count it a privilege to enter into your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. At this time, dear Lord, out of our busyness of our lives, we've come into this prayer session knowing that we will hear a word from you. So blot out our transgressions, take away our sins, and give us an ear to hear what the Spirit is going to say to the church at this time. We pray for all who are present that they will experience the, the working of the Spirit within their lives, reforming them, cleansing them, renewing them, and reminding them that they have a high priest in heaven, but most of all, a Father who is entreating them to come into his presence. Be with our speaker, bless her, use her as you have never used her before today. We ask for your Holy Spirit to be poured afresh on each one of us. And we ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you, Sister Rumbi. Amen. Amen. Th thank you so much. Um, once again, uh, I'm thankful for the privilege that we can come together, you know, in the presence of God to encourage one another. Um, well, as I come, I do not uh, count on myself or rely on my own human ability. I'm trusting that may the Lord um, say what he wants to say to his people this afternoon. And um, I was notified um, a bit late today. And uh, this is what I say to myself that Lord, you know, you will you will help me to share what what you have, and I'm just gonna share uh, from my heart uh, with you this afternoon. I think it's something that I myself have been going through and learning, so I'm just gonna uh, share with the rest of of us. And um, it's all about um, our character um, in these last days, you know, as we wait upon the Lord. So before we get into it, let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we come once again before your throne in the precious mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we just want to thank you for this time that you have uh, allowed us to come together in your name. Your word promises us that where two or three are gathered in my name, I shall be there in their midst. Therefore, we just want to thank you, Spirit of God, that may you be with us, touch each and every one of us. May you speak to us, O oh God, and in such a way that we'll hear the word and that we will do it as James um, instructs us that we must not be hearers only, but rather that we must be doers of the word. Lord, I thank you that may I not be heard this afternoon, but you be heard by your children, that which we have for them, Lord, let it be said through my uh my human lips, may you touch my lips and talk in and through me that you may be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna share, it's you know, it's inspired from the camp um that I attended. It was like a prayer camp, uh, maybe two weeks back. And um, you know, most cases when we say we are going to a prayer camp, we we are always going um having our issues and you know having our requests our petitions you know we we go there saying you know I'm, I'm gonna pray that the lord may help me in this you may help me in that which is which is good um but the the day when we arrived there uh it was a matter of saying i i know that you have issues i know you've got requests I know you have petitions that you want to bring uh, before the Lord, but as children of God, um, I think we have been missing it uh, one way or the other. Maybe I'm, I'm talking to people who already have it yet, but for myself, I think um, after I heard this, I realized that surely I, I was missing it um, one way or the other. So the, the emphasis on the message that I'm going to to share with you guys, it is um on the on the Holy Spirit. I think the last time we spoke, we spoke about the 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 Spirit, the test, uh, the 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 fruit of the Spirit test. That's what we spoke about. Um, so today, if we look at Luke eleven verse thirteen, it talks about how if you then who are evil know how to give. Uh, good gifts to your children, how much more will the heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Um, you know, when uh, we were there uh, at the camp, it was a matter of saying, sometimes it's not about coming to prayer, you know, bringing our petitions and, and all of that. Like I said, it's a good thing to do, but you know, the Lord wants us to seek him. He wants us to, to seek his kingdom first, you know, to seek the power that comes through uh, by being in by by being filled by the by the Spirit of God, by the Holy Spirit. And when we do that, you know, we we really focus, and when we really focus on the infilling of the Holy Spirit in our daily walk with Christ and when we focus on seeking the kingdom of God first you know um it's a matter of actually seeing that when God says all these things will be added unto us he will truly take care of all these things which are the things that we we face you know our daily challenges you know all the other things that we face when we when we decide to put God first you know, he's faithful to come through for us um, on all the other things that we might be in need of. You know, the scripture even say that do not worry about these things, you know, for uh, um, the Gentiles are the ones who worry about things like that. So if I'm a child of God and I have the spirit of God, you know, that is uh, uh, that has filled my heart, I won't be really uh, caught in my situation or in my circumstances but rather I will have the confidence in knowing that Lord, even though I'm going through what I'm going through, I know that you are in control. I know that you are with me. You know, your promises says you, you, you will never leave us. It says you will never uh, forsake us. And then we, when we go on the, on the next uh, 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 scripture in, in John 15, it talks about, uh, John 15 verse 7 it talks about that if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it shall be done for you I think the King James version it says um, ask whatever you will so here in John 15 verse 7 we can see that this is our will right um, if you have the King James version you can check it it talks about ask whatever you will and it shall be done for you. So John 15 verse 7 is talking about us when we ask what we will, it shall be done for us. But 
Have you ever seen that sometimes when we we pray and ask for these things, some of it does not uh, come to pass. But then if we look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 to 15, it says, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. So here in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 to 15, this is now God's will, right? In John 15, verse 7, it's our will. And in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, this is God's will. So now as we, we come to the Lord, um, we, we have to make sure that our will or my will must align with God's will so that when we pray, he hears us. Or in other words, it must become one, you know, my will and God's will. It has to become one so that we can really truly see um, the promise of First John chapter 5, uh, verse 14 to 15 coming to pass. So it is so that when we do uh, ask, you know, for a everyday infilling of the Holy Spirit, you know, it talks about how he is the one who prayed through us the perfect will of the Father. So when we put him first in everything that we do as his children, we will find out that, you know, we will be in God's will. And when we pray, uh, our prayers are heard and, you know, we, we are unstoppable. We are not uh, distracted by the things that we go through. We are not distracted by what is going on around us. But our faith is so firm in him because we are putting him first and daily we are saying that, Lord, we cannot do this on our own. Help us by your spirit that each and every day as we take this walk, each and every day as we wake up, we need you, you know, walk with us because clearly his word I'm sorry about that. Clearly, his word told, uh, tells us that for without me, you can do nothing. So it's not a matter of, ah, I pray for the Holy Spirit to fill me last week or yesterday. It's not sufficient. I think one of uh, Ellen White quotes, it actually talks about how we cannot go by in, you know, an hour without him. We cannot do this without the spirit of God helping us, especially now more than ever. I'm sure we can all see we are living in the last days. A lot of things are happening and we can clearly see that we really, we truly need this power to be able to operate in this dark world, to be able to still stand firm and have faith in God and not be moved by anything. Why? Because the Holy Spirit has taken over and he's the one who's leading us and he's the one who is directing us. You know, it was say that, um, how do we know that we are filled by the Holy Spirit? And, and, and Jesus talks about um, how you will know them, you know, by their fruits. You will know them that they, you know, they have the Spirit by their fruits. Which, which fruits are those? We all know the fruits of the Spirit from Galatians, you know. And sometimes I ask myself, it's, it's, so, it's so difficult to, to, you know, to, to love sometimes in situations that we are faced with. But because if we can, you know, take a step back each and every day to say, Lord, I cannot do this on my own. I need your help. Please hold me with your righteous right hand. Walk with me. Give me this love, you know, this agape kind of love. Give me the patience. Give me the long suffering, you know, in everything that I do and in everything that I, 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 I touch or whatever that I do in my daily walk with you. Help me that I'm able to walk with you and that you enable me to do what needs to be done. For his word says that in you know, in him, we move, we breathe, and we have our being. So I just want to, to, to encourage each and every one of us this afternoon that may we continuously put it on the, on, on the forefront of our 
daily uh, devotions. You know, when you wake up before you start your day, may we make sure that we are asking God to fill us, you know, with his spirit to so that we are able to, 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 to walk and in his ways and to do that which is pleasing unto him because on our own, um, we cannot. Then here I have this uh, quote from uh, Review and the Herald. It, it talks about, uh, it says, let every church member kneel before God and pray earnestly for the impartation of the spirit. Cry, Lord, increase my faith. Make me to understand thy word. For the entrance of thy word, it giveth light. Refresh me by thy presence. Fill my heart with thy spirit, that I may love my brethren as Christ loves me. God will bless those who thus prepare themselves for his service. They will understand what it means to have the assurance of the spirit because they have received Christ by faith. The religion of Christ means more than the forgiveness of sin. It means that sin is taken away and that the vacuum is filled with the spirit. It means that the mind is divinely illumined, that the heart is emptied of, of self and filled with the presence of Christ. When this work is done for church members, the church will be a living and working church. The baptism of the Holy Spirit and nothing less can bring us to this place. We may talk of the blessing of the Holy Spirit, but unless we prepare ourselves for his reception, of what avail are our works? Are we seeking for his fullness? That is from review and the and the herald. So here we can truly see that um, my 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 brothers and sisters, we 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 truly need the baptism of uh, the Holy Spirit to be able to fulfill even that which we are doing in the church, our service, whatever it is. May the Lord lead us and guide us through His Spirit that we are able to do that which is pleasing unto him. For his word says that he is the one who gives us the power. You know, he's the one who gives us the energy to do that which is pleasing unto him. So uh, this afternoon, um, this is what I, I, I had on my heart. I said, Lord, I'm just going to share what's on my heart with my brothers and sisters. I hope it encouraged um, someone that we daily ask for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. We already have the promise that says, as evil as you are, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will God give the Spirit to those who ask him? So this afternoon, I just want to encourage each and every one of us that uh, may this be our daily walk, may this be our daily desire, to ask the Lord to fill us with his spirit, just like Jesus, you know, it talks about before the sun comes out, you will go, you know, a, a, into a, a, a secret place, you know, to be with the father, to be empowered, you know, through prayer. So it is my prayer also this afternoon that may we continue in this. If we are already doing this, then praise the Lord. You know, sometimes the business of life can really, take us away from relying on God's spirit. So um, I'm just here to maybe it's a reminder or just to encourage that may we continue to seek of the power that comes through the Holy Spirit to be able to do that which is pleasing to our Father who is in heaven. And yes, um, that is my message this afternoon. And once again, I just want to, to thank you for the, the opportunity. Amen. Um, I will just Amen. pray. Amen. Let us just pray in closing. Dear Father in heaven, we just want to thank you this afternoon. We thank you, Lord, for your word that always reminds us how you want us, Lord, to petition of you each and every day for us to have this closer walk with you, Lord, before we even begin our day. 
you want us, oh God, to ask the infilling of the Holy Spirit that we are able, Lord God, to do that which is pleasing unto you. For we have seen, Lord, that on our own we cannot. We are human, but we know by your Spirit we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I want to thank you this afternoon for each and every member in this platform that, Father, may you continue to walk with them. May you continue to lead them and to guide them that even though they have needs and you know, Father God, where they at, it is my prayer that, Father, they will have the confidence of knowing that if they ask according to your will, you will do it for them, oh God. I thank you this afternoon for each and every person on this platform. May you continue to be with them during the week and uh, even as we go into the weekend. May you continue to lead and to guide them, Father, in everything that they do. More than anything, Father, help us that we are being um, prepared for your second coming. And we know, Father, that by your spirit, we will know, Father, that you will show us the way. You will show us what needs to be done. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Sister Rumbi, for allowing God to um, use you today to, to bring a refreshing of the minds of God's people. You know, oftentimes, you know, as God's people, we expect the, the renewal of God's spirit in our life to be some loud, highly demonstrative thing you know when Elijah got so busy trying to please God and to work for God that he became so overwhelmed with the task of the day that when um, Jezebel threatened him it was all about him and he just went running and he missed the presence of God and it just reminds me that you know God had to represent himself to Elijah now Elijah was expecting God to be in the 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 the, the renting of the mountains but God wasn't present there he expected God to be in the wind that was swirling around him but God was not present there he expected God to be in the earthquake that rattled and caused the earth to, the earth to move but God wasn't present there he expected God to be in the fire that consumed things, but God wasn't present there. God was present in the gentle stillness of his voice. And this is why the scripture says, be still and know that I am God. In our business, we need to be still because oftentimes we want the big, loud things we want the miracles and, and all of those things. But the miracle of it all is how the spirit of God can transform a wretch like us to be sons and daughters of the most high God. Thank you so much for the message. I don't know if anyone wanted to respond to today's message. Please put your hand up. If there's no further comment wanting to be made, can I get someone to pray for the message and for the speaker, please? Let us pray. Our kind and loving Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, may your kingdom come. Thank you, Father, for the gift of life. And thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. It's the one that is um, given us the um, pricked our hearts to lay down our tools and come and sit at your feet to listen to you, reminding us there is nothing that is good that can come from us apart from the Holy Spirit. 
and it is not optional, but it is it is important for us to ask for the Holy Spirit, not once, not twice, but right through the day as we as we have decisions to make and choices to make. Thank you for Sister Rumbi for uh, allowing you to use her in giving us this very solemn message, this uh, very important reminder that we have a helper. We don't have to do it on our own. And we cannot do anything on our own. if We are going to find salvation in the kingdom of heaven. Bless Sister Rumbi and her ministry, Lord, and enlarge her territory and bless her family and bless all heads that are bowed down here, Father. And um, oh, ask, I ask that you forgive my sins and the sins of all that are gathered here, that the Holy Spirit may be able to dwell in us. And thank you that he is amongst us because that's your mm -hmm. promise, where two or three are gathered in my name, they are am, they are am in, in Baptist. And therefore, I just want to say thank you for all heads that are bowed down here. Fill each one of us with the Holy Spirit and help us not to aggrieve him and send him away. Um, that we and to may he help us to let go of self and all these sins and uh, character traits that stop us from experiencing the fullness of your presence and of the gifts that you, blessings that you, you, you are waiting to give to us. Be with us and may your spirit continue to guide us, to teach us of who you are and to help us to yield our wills to you. This is my humble prayer in the precious name of Messiah. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, we're going to go on to our prayer theme. So our first one is praise and thanksgiving. I've placed the text says in the chat. So for that one, it is um, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14. Do we have anyone to do that one? Praise and thanksgiving. Yes, please. Thank you, sis. Um, Sister Rumbi, if you can lead us out in the confession of sins, which is Proverbs 28, verses 13. Do we still have Sister Rumbi with us? Yes, yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Right. I see um, N. Chitate. Is that you, um, Elder Noel? Yes, yes. Good afternoon, Elder Noel. For anyone who is not aware, this is Elder Noel. Who, he's one of the founders of Prayer Retreat UK. Welcome. Um, well, can you do the prayer for the Holy Spirit, please? Um, the scripture that I have in the chat, and I will pull it up, is First John 5, verse 8. But if you have another one that is more uh, applicable, please use that one. Thank you. And uh, finally, prayer for um, missions, and that is like prayer retreats and any other ministries that are working um, for the, the, the gospel of Christ and who are proclaiming the free angels message. And we've got Acts 14 verse 7. Do we have anyone to pray for missions? I could, but I would also include institutions if possible. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's okay. Thank you, Sister Angela. And for our um, silent prayer, for us to um, ask God to, to make us more receptible to his Holy Spirit, because as Sister Rumbi mentioned, you know, often when we get into a, a situation where we get into a prayer situation, we tend to have a long list of uh, bring me, give me, bless me, and all these sort of things. And God 
he meets all of our physical needs, but the things that we, we desperately need are changing, as Sister mentioned, is that the character, the character qualities, there is a character quality that is a ne needs to be um, found in God's people. It is our passport through through passport check that we need to go through. If we don't have that, those correct characters, those correct visas in our passport, it avails us nothing. So we are asking God to allow the spirit to guide us in the character development, you know, that he will do his divine work so that we will be his people. So that's our prayer for the silent prayer. When I say amen, we will go on to praise and confession of sin, Holy Spirit, and then Prayer Retreat UK, any ministries or institutions that are supporting the three angels' message. Let us pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> I'm going to read Second Corinthians 2 verse 14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. Let's pray. Our precious eternal Father in Jesus and the Holy Spirit, thank you for being in our midst, Matthew 18, 20. You promise us where two or three are gathered in my name. I will be in their midst. I claim your God's presence. I claim may your kingdom come in this group prayer retreat. And I want to thank you for using Sister Rumbi. All these two weeks I've been listening to this power of the Holy Spirit if it's in us. And thank you to hear it while we are still able to decide, Lord, to listen to this still voice. Thank you, Lord. May you enlarge your territory. May you bless here. May you bless all of us here with the gift of Holy Spirit. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 We shall read Proverbs chapter 28, um, verse 18. It says, He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we come to you in the precious mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for another opportunity that you have given us, O oh God, as we come to you, Lord, according to the scriptures, you have told us that whoever confesses and forsake, but whoever confesses their sin and forsake them, they will have mercy. Father, as we come, we are coming, humbling ourselves before you, Lord, asking for forgiveness, Father. We ask that may you forgive us of anything, O oh God, that was said, that was done, or thought, Father God, that was not pleasing unto you. We confess our sins and we ask, Father, you know, standing on your promise that says, you know, when we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us. Therefore, as we kneel before your throne this afternoon, oh, my Lord, we know that on our own, we cannot. We need the power of the Holy Spirit to help us that we may continue to walk in your, in your ways, you know, to live a holy life as we have uh, instructed us that be holy as I am holy. Father, we know that this goal, it can be attained because if you have said it, Lord, then it is possible. It is our prayer this afternoon, Father, that may you help us, may you enable us, may you 
uh, um, give us, oh God, the, the ability to be able, Lord, to to walk in your ways and to not sin against you. Help us, Father, that we do not rely on our own understanding. As you said in your word, do not lean on your own understanding, but in everything that you do, acknowledge him and he shall show you the way to go. So we just want to thank you this afternoon, oh God, as we confess and as we we humble ourselves before your throne, O oh God. We are humbly asking that may you walk with us, O oh God. May you help us that we may not sin against you. Help us that even when we study or hear the word, that we may keep it deep down in our hearts. That, Lord, as we live our lives, that we may not sin against you. We thank you, Father, for the power of your word. We thank you, Lord, that may you continue to give us faith, that our faith may it grow in you, knowing that, Father, if you are in us, we can do all things through you who strengthens us. We thank you, Lord, for your kindness. We thank you for your goodness, for your mercies that endure us forever. We thank you for who you are and for what you are doing in and through our lives. May you continue to be God. May you continue to be king in our lives, that we put you first in everything that we do. Help us, Father God, we know that you said when we are weak, then you are strong. Therefore, Father, may you help us that we continue to put our trust in you, knowing that you are the only one who can help us through in this walk that we are in, in our walk with you, O oh God. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, continue to be with us, Lord, in everything that we do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Over to you, Elsa. Sorry, uh, I wasn't aware that uh, I was on mute. Sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay, I'd muted. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I was saying that uh, I'm going to use uh, Luke chapter 11, verse 18, which says that uh, if you then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Um, really, God is teaching us that we are evil, but we know what to give. And our Father, who is righteous, has got a better knowledge of who we are and what he can give us. Let us pray. Our dear heavenly Father, we want to thank you in a very special way for today's special message and for allowing us to come here and allowing me to be in this audience. I, I don't come here as somebody who is holy or righteous, but as somebody who is in need of you. I want to thank you for the time you've taken to pull me out of my busy schedule and to emphasize to my heart that prayer is important. And there are many in this audience whom you have pulled out of their busy schedules, whom you have impressed with the knowledge that you, you are important and that it is important to be in a prayer session. I want to thank you and to invite you to be with us. And I want to pray specifically for the Holy Spirit because he is the greatest need that we have now. There is so much confusion out there. In us, there's confusion. In the world, there's confusion. And without your Holy Spirit, the world is getting worse into confusion. But pull us out and make us faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hello, this is Angela from Denmark. And I would like to read first X 14, verse 7. And there they prayed the gospel. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for the opportunity to be here together with sisters and brethren. I ask you help all of us to do your will. Kindly you give us clear minds and understanding what's going on in this world. And you know that uh, prayer retreat ministry is a wonderful tool in your hands. I ask you help that you will lead them in the way they should go. And we do it all the ministries who are doing your Will I ask you for that, that um, 
your servant will preach the three angels' message. And I thank you for this, and I will praise you because your name shall be glorified. You know, I'm not worthy. And in some way, all of us are only living dust, but you love us so much that you went on the cross that everyone who believes in you shall not perish but have eternal life. I thank you so much. And you know, I'm so concerned about a little elderly home or perhaps a bigger one in Switzerland. And in some way, I'm also concerned about other institutions and also ministries that your will be done, that you send your holy angels around them, that you are guarding and protecting them, that nothing which is bad will have the permission to stay there. I know that you are able to remove all the obstacles, that your will be done and that your gospel will be preached unto the ends of the world. And I thank you for this. And I ask you again kindly, let your name be glorified. Help the self-supporting ministries, the institutions, the schools, the elderly homes, the printing presses of our churches, the churches and the church members and the families, that you are sending your holy angels around them and protecting them and show every one of us the way we should go and fight for, for your institutions and ministries, also for the board members that nothing bad and uh, something which has to do with iniquity, with the evil one, has to do with them, that they get out of it. And I will uh, ask you to do according to your word in Second Chronicles 20 from verse 15. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by the reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. And I thank you. It is your battle. We can calm down as Sister Ruby um, tried to show us to, to us. And I ask you, like this, tomorrow go you down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Sis, and you shall find them at the end of the roof before the wilderness of Israel. I ask you, fight for your churches and for the institutions. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And so on in verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehovah stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. I thank you for this word. And I know that you are sending a holy angels around in this world with all these ministries, small and big ones. And I know that you also will help Elder Chitati with his project that um, the goods which are on the way, that they will come safe to him and quickly. But also the other ministries. Bless them and strengthen us that we are looking unto you and relying 100% unto you because this is the problem. This is my problem and we have to grow in faith and I will thank you and I will praise you. And I thank you and I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. Now, this time we are going to switch mm -hmm. off the recording and we're going to bring um, private petitions. So,